Hello. Welcome again to Expect Good Things uh, with Edikai Mary's Ministries. This is Edikai Mary, Reverend Edikai Mary, um, saying to you, Jesus is King. Jesus is King. In Expect Good Things, we, w w there, there is just one saying that actually comes out from the other program that we call Experience with God. And that one particular thing that the Holy Spirit said to me has become like, um, like it encapsulates almost everything that we are to do in life and ministries. It says, when you trust God with your life, He will, when you begin to trust God with your life, He will begin to trust you with his life also. It's, it's one of our wisdom keys, you know, that we've been, we've been teaching about. Well, in, ex, in Expect Good Things, I share with you that when you begin a qualitative relationship with the Almighty God, and with the King, Jesus Christ himself, something that has to do with life begins to happen to you. There is a product. There are products. There are things that begins to emerge from God and from you, from the Holy Spirit, from, 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 the, from the Godhead. You, you, they will begin to bombard you with certain things, and one of them is what I want to share with you this day. Hallelujah. One of the uh, products or one of the outcome of beginning to touch God and God beginning to touch you through a qualitative companionship is what I call an invitation to enjoyment. I like that. <laughs> an invitation to enjoyment. The Almighty God calls us, invites you and I to a life of enjoyment. You see, a lot of people believe that it is until they meet Jesus in heaven, until they are before the planet heaven, then the life of enjoyment begins. That is one of the ways that I used to look at the Christian life. That what I cannot get in this present life, I will get it in the next life. <laughs> and when you look at certain songs from certain denominations, in fact, it affects almost all the denominations, they have these eschatological tendencies to um, have that hope and expectation of tapping into the good things when they have finally made it across after a lot of struggles to the other side. So there is, there is a lot of songs, a lot of church hymns about the other side, about heaven. Hallelujah. I love heaven. It is a planet. I love the kingdom of my father. But you know what? He also has made me to be away in his word and true experience with him that the life of heaven is now. The very moment that you receive Jesus into your life or Jesus received you to become your king, he become the dominant figure in your life, what happens to you is this. The government of heaven begins to trickle down little by little to the earth because of you. There is an invitation 
when you begin to relate to have companionship with the Lord God Almighty, when it is not a companionship of collection, professional collection, but a companionship of a God and a king with his subject, with his sons and daughters, what happens is that he begins to lift you into the arena of absolute enjoyment. You begin to enjoy life, fullness of life. Life is no longer a struggle. Listen, let me tell you this. Why should the dope dealer, why should the pimps, why should the evil politicians, why should the greedy businessmen and women be the ones enjoying the goodies of God on earth? Why should they drive the best cars, live in the best mansions, send their kids to the best schools, enjoy the best of things? That's not right. God wants to have a qualitative relationship with you in such a way that he begins to invite you to the life of absolute enjoyment. Whereby you do not need to struggle to enjoy the things of this earth, money, material resources. We are not even talking about protection and other privileges and provisions, things that are the outcome of being with our God. God is interested in making us enjoy life to the fullest. Have the best of everything. That's my own convictions. And it works for me because I believe in it. Jesus was no beggar. Neither of the apostles was a beggar. Go through biblical history. There is no one figure you ever read about who was a beggar, who was poor and sick and beggarly. None of them. Absolutely none. So why do you want to be one? If your biblical ancestors, your spiritual ancestors were no beggars, they were always healthy. They enjoy life to the fullest. Abraham had all good things. Servants, gold. He was a trillionaire. A multi, multi, multi trillionaire. A big time, if you want to say billionaire, okay, let's limit it to whatever. My spiritual ancestors were the wealthiest in their time. In my time, I must follow the example. God must give me the best because he is the best. I don't need no criticism about that. It does not apply. This is purely biblical divine truth. This is how it works. God is interested in lifting you up and inviting you to a life of absolute enjoyment. Enjoyment of a relationship with him and with the Holy Spirit, having good relationship with human beings and also having the best of this earth. After all, the eighth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. If you believe with me, say amen. Hallelujah. I say amen. And God Almighty is visiting you right now as I'm talking. For those of you who are watching and you want a breakthrough in your material, financial areas of life, Almighty Father, give them a breakthrough now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please support our ministries. Invest in us. We are now in the various feeds, various news groups, iTunes, MySpace, Facebook, YouTube. Just name it. Just type in Idikai Mary's Ministries. If God has worked a miracle in your life, call us. Call us. 
0473. That is our phone number and also our fax number. And you can also write to us, I-D-I-K-A-I-M-M, -M, like Mary, E-R-I, Idikai Mary, at L-I-V-E dot com. And God bless you as we take the gospel of good things to the nations. Hallelujah.